Tonight, a neighborhood concern. There were more spots could end up forming, causing sinkholes. This is where a sinkhole opened next to a home earlier this week. It forced at least one family out of their home in the villages. Yeah, News 6 reporter Amanda Castro is there live for us tonight. And Amanda, two more depressions have now popped up in that same neighborhood. Yes, Lisa, just to put it in perspective for you, in between those two homes you see right behind me, that's where the sinkhole is. Then in this house's backyard, we've got two cones here. That's a smaller depression. Now let's walk down this way in between this home's front yard. You can see more cones set up. That's the second depression that formed overnight. Neighbors saying with all this rain, they're worried more depressions, even possibly more sinkholes could be popping up in their homes. It's kind of scary that it's this close to where I live. Steve Scamardi says he's still in shock after this sinkhole opened up near his neighbor's house on Monday. It has gotten bigger. This is only about a day old. It started about a, maybe a four foot hole. And in the last 24 hours, it's probably tripled or quadrupled in size. And overnight, two more depressions formed by this house nearby on Nueva Place. Neighbors worried all the rain could cause more damage. And it seems to have a little pattern here. It's going in that direction which is my house. Sumter County Public Safety officials say the sinkhole is 20 feet wide and 15 feet deep. And although it still poses a risk, there is good news tonight. The hole isn't getting any bigger. No, I don't want it to reach my house. And I'm sure Ron over here doesn't want it to reach his. We spoke to Ron Wambach, who lives in the house next to the sinkhole. He and his wheelchair bound neighbor had to leave their homes. Today from Sky 6, we saw officials come out and inspect the sinkhole. We're told the homeowner's insurance is starting the repair process. And I'll pray for these folks and pray it doesn't come on our street. Well, this sinkhole that you see here in those two depressions we showed you earlier, those are all on private property. So right now, Sumter County Public Safety officials say all they can do is monitor the situation. It's up to the homeowners to take care of them. Now, coming up at 530, we're going to have the latest on this sinkhole, including some exposed wires that you see down there and any potential danger they could be. That's coming up at 530. Lisa. All right, Amanda Castro reporting live tonight. Thank you.